Just tried to sell us every single thing in the world. We've literally only just put our foot down. So yeah, it's a problem. Wow. I don't know how old that tree is, but it's dead and it's like, I don't know, two meters wide. It's pretty big. Look at the size of this. So there's a lot of work going on in this one. Wow. Look at that. That's insane. Unbelievable. You know, that's really quite unfortunate that the total ambience is ruined by this nonsense here. It's pretty, it's just, it's noisy. It has to be done though. No, but you should do it when it's not tourist season. Wreck it, Ralph's been here. I'm gonna wreck it! I'm gonna wreck it! This whole place has just been, it's like urban decay, it's like imagine Imagine our earth, right? Like right now, if everyone just left it, Mother Nature would pretty much just take over it again and that's exactly what this place is like. Over a period of how long is this? 800 years? No, it's well longer than that, isn't it? 800 AD and 1400 AD. Look at it! Oh my <laughs> god, it's like predators on them. This is where I expect predator to be. Somewhere up there, uh -huh. whoa, looking at us. Do it! Do it now! <laughs> Sorry, Ami. This is like something that every single book or film or comic book you've ever read as a child. Anything to do with treasure hunting. I'm gonna go gallivanting. Let's go. Unsafe area. We're about to go into an unsafe area. Unsafe area. Wow. I think we're done with this place now. I'm gonna go back to the tuk tuk and move on to our next stop. What's our next anchor? Tassom. Tassom. Okay, so this place is awesome. We're done. It's really cool. Uh, our next Tomb Raider location is Tassom. So we're gonna go there now. This is Tassom. It's out in the middle of nowhere, this one's really far away, but a lot of people on TripAdvisor say that this is their favourite one, so... This place is nice. It is, it's quiet, sir. It's very quiet. It's really similar to all the other ones as well, so this is quite a top tip. If you want to come somewhere, experience it, but don't want to suck up the whole, soak up the whole craziness of tourism, tourists everywhere. Come here, it's nice. That's oh, so cool. This is really small, this place. There's not a lot to see here, but this is amazing. It's fantastic. Hey, right, let's go. I'm gonna run quickly. You think we might be lost AF again? We're not 100% sure. You think? It's so hard because everything. No, it's definitely not because there's not as much. The water was symmetrical on the other side. I was gonna yeah, say, all the temples are square and it's symmetrical. Like the river, the big yeah. pond thing was there, more on the other side. I'm starting to notice that all the temples are looking very the samey, they're starting to get very samey. It's cool, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. There's a, a really nice temple I found on the other side of the city, which is kind of Mayan in design. It's like a pyramid, <laughs> a stepped pyramid, so we might go there. See what I mean about Mayan? It's got the seven layers, the same as most Mayan pyramids have, in a square formation. That's awesome. I love the square, I just think it's amazing. It's so different from all the other temples in this area. That's the mission, let's get up there. That looks warm, but let's do it. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> oh god. These are steep stairs. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. 
dying. We're done with Bacong. Top tip, I'd say this is our favourite. It's amazing, it looks totally different. It's quiet, and yeah, it's good. It's peaceful, you can walk about the grounds outside and just, it's not the mass panic that seems to be in Angkor Wat. So if you get a chance, come the hour out of Angkor Wat and, or Siam Reap and go and see this place because it's beautiful. So we don't know where we're going. We, we honestly don't know where we're going. <laughs> uh, lost in translation, I think we're going to the lakes. I'm not 100% sure. Stay tuned. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> 